Well, I've been sitting on these upper control arms from Zubo Motorsports for the 350Z for like a year now, so I think it's time to get at it. Oh, I know, I know, I know. You might be saying, you already have adjustable upper control arms. Your fitment is perfect. Your car sits so nicely. Everything is perfectly dialed. And you'd be right. But you might also be wondering then, why in that case would you be switching to the Z1 Motorsports upper control arms? Let me show you. Actually, this is the main reason why I haven't had this car out to really push it hard. I wanted to get it up in the mountains of North Carolina, uh, maybe kill the dragon and kind of beat on it before I got rid of it. And uh, I just have been hesitant to do that just because I don't trust these control arms. Um, you know, when you don't have good lubrication of the ball joint, uh, they can snap and break. And then they, they're cheap aside from it, even if they were brand new, who knows uh, when they might crack or break on you. So, we're just going to get them replaced and uh, make sure the rest of the time that I have this car, that it's good to go. And when we pass it on to a new owner, and I say when, if, I, I still haven't decided. <laughs> but if we ever do pass it on to a new owner, at least we'll feel good about it. This is what I knew would happen, but really was hoping wouldn't. <laughs> Annoying. Here's a look at the old one. It's in rough shape, as you can see. I do like the concept, the, the theory behind this style, because you can essentially adjust your alignment without taking the wheel off. Um, so that's pretty convenient, but whether or not this is the, the best style, I don't know. And obviously this being sort of a, you know, not, not so good of a brand, I don't know how good that is anyway. So, you know, if you're driving hard, there's potential for your alignment to get out of whack and you know, it messes up your handling, but also tears up your tires and stuff. So it's better to go with a reputable brand and one that is of decent quality, maybe not as easy to adjust alignment on, but one that's gonna be a lot better in the long run. you follow the instructions by Z1 Motorsports make sure you use some uh, thread locker on the threads and get those lock nuts locked down This one is definitely shot. Look at that. It is just absolutely destroyed. Definitely a potential source of weird noises and things like that, uh, but certainly a potential failure point as well.
Ideally, this will be parallel, so your your pin portion goes kind of at least, you know, at a 90 degree out of the uh, ring up there, whatever the hell you want to call that. God, look at all that stuff leaked out of that other one. It's just like a caked on hard mess now. So far, so good. The car actually seems to drive straight. Left hand shift. Nailed it. pictures what I've really been listening for though is if the front tires are rubbing uh, when we're turning sharp or going over bumps and that kind of tells us just how dialed our fitment is and no rubbing so far so real good when you start lowering your cars getting coilovers or lowering springs or bags even whatever the case may be you certainly want some adjustable upper control arms to ensure that you can get the adjustability you need to make sure your alignment is dialed in. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you for the continued support up to this point. We just surpassed 29,000 subscribers on our way to 30,000 by the end of the year. I think we can get there. So thanks for watching. Stick around. More to come for the channel. See you in the next one. I'd, I'd like to grab around a little bit more, but I just renewed my registration and for some reason it's taking forever to get the new decals back. So I have the receipt, but I don't want to draw any attention to my expired tags.